Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope that you had an amazing, safe and happy start to the new year. Happy 2022. I know I'm feeling really excited for what the new year will bring. And in part, that is because I am kind of doing a bit of a refresh, a little bit of a kind of reset when it comes to panning. So I have decided that I am just going to be doing this one focus project pan for basically all categories of makeup and then I'm just going to do my pan those eyeshadows this year just two focus projects at least to start off the new year we'll see in a few months time maybe I'll reevaluate and reevaluate and I'll feel like I'm excited to bring some new focus products into my repertoire but for the time being I'm just so excited to reset with a just good old fashion rolling project 10 pan nothing fancy nothing crazy going on here. I just want to work on 10 products from my collection at any time. I rotate something new in once I hit a goal. So I am going to be having a combination of usage goals. Last year, I really came to love usage goals because I felt like it was a great way to rotate through my collection, get to know products from my collection and get to better understand how long it really takes to use up something. And then I also am going to be working on some products as completion goals or to hit pan on things as well. So there are a variety of different goals and intentions with this project pan. You will be seeing this actually at the very beginning of 2022, but I am filming this just before the new year and I'm just feeling so excited for this project pan. I'm just so excited for a new start and I can't wait to share with you all of the products that I'm going to be focusing on to kick off this project. So why don't we just hop on into that? I do recall a couple months back saying that I was going to work on all brand new products, never before seen on camera products, things that I had never focused on in previous projects but there is one item that is a repeat offender. I had it in a previous project pan, but the other nine, I have never worked on them as focus products. And it's just going to, again, just enhance that feeling of being refreshed and starting anew and just having a bit of a reset because I've never ever worked on any of these in any sort of focus capacity except this one. This is an item that I had in my 30 by 30 project pan last year. And so I did get 30 uses out of it. I made amazing progress on it in that project pan. And I have found myself actually gravitating towards this recently to just reach for as of late because I'm at my fairest and I don't know, this product is just pretty effortless. So I, I just want to kind of keep on that train. This by the way, is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. And this is in the shade Spotlight, which is a very light frosty champagne kind of color. I have been reaching for this oftentimes lately, actually there's a swatch of it there. I have found myself really wanting to reach for this because it's really beautiful on my fair skin right now. And it offers a very natural kind of highlight in terms of like the finish and the color, but it also just is like just really beautiful and very effortless. And I've been really, really enjoying it. I want to just ensure that I just keep reaching for it. I'd love to finish it off. And I don't think that's gonna be too much of a problem. I was able to make a pretty good dent in it when I focused on it in my 30 by 30 project pan. And I really don't have a ton of product left in here now. I just have just a little bit remaining in here. So as you can see, it's just this bottom part here. I don't see it being too, big of an issue because this is a kind of product that I can mix with primers to make them like a glowy kind of base product. I can wear this under or over foundations. I can wear this on my collarbone, which I'm wearing it today on my collarbone and just like on the very top of my shoulder here. I can wear it in so many different ways. So it's something that I'm just going to be reaching for on the daily until it's completely used up. I'll likely end up cutting into it as well, just to ensure that I actually clean everything right out to make it easier and uh, more acceptable for recycling. But until that day comes, I still have a lot of product. So in the coming updates, I'll just share with you where I'm at and my thoughts on it. But so far I already know I'm going to really enjoy reaching for this in the coming months. This next product is one that I've also been reaching for quite a lot as of late and I've decided it's time to just focus on it and get it gone. This is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Liquid Eyeshadow, I believe, in the shade Nude Linen. It doesn't say anywhere on it what the actual product is called, but I think it's the Beautifully Bare Eyeshadow. 
And this is a liquid eyeshadow that is virtually my skin tone. So I've been wearing it as an eyeshadow primer very regularly because I love that it does cancel out the veins and the discoloration on my lids. And it offers just a really nice blank canvas for my eyeshadow looks. And it does provide quite a bit of longevity in my experience as of late using this. So I've just been using this so, so frequently that I just want to ensure that I continue to reach for it and use it up. It's a product that works very well for me and I am starting to see a little bit of usage happen on it. As you can see, there's like a bit of a gap there. You can tell it's getting worn. So it'll be really fun to monitor this in the coming months. I do think this is gonna be a long haul kind of product for me as I can't really multi-purpose it or reapply it throughout the day, but it will be interesting to monitor the situation for sure. So this next product is one that I'm really looking forward to working out of my collection and I just feel like I will not do that if I don't have it in this project pan to really dedicate my energy towards. So this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. This is so old that this was before they expanded the shade range. If that tells you anything, if you know anything about this powder, I probably bought this in like 2017 or 2018, and then they expanded the shade range shortly after that. This is a product that I used to adore. I used to love it so much. I used to bake my under eyes, so I really liked using it to lock in my concealers, and I felt like it really helped to brighten my under eyes. But recently I have been reaching for this to kind of see if I still enjoyed it, and I really do enjoy the formula now, but I use it much more sparingly with a brush or just a very light application with a sponge. So this will be quite slow going, I feel, because I don't use it to set my entire face, just strictly under my eyes, because it really does help to set down powder, or concealer, not powder. It helps to set down my concealer. This next product is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Light 6W. This is the base product that I'm wearing today, and this is a product I've been reaching for on the regular lately. I really do enjoy this product, especially at this time of year. I have a butt ton of product in here though, and um, I've had it in my life for about a year and a half, approaching two years now, and I just don't feel like it has gotten the usage that I would like to see by now. So if I'm realistic with myself, I don't want to try to use this up this year, but I don't want to neglect it either, and so I'm going to set myself a usage goal of reaching for this 60 times. I foresee that being something I can do before the summertime approaches when this color is a little bit too light for me, but leading up to the summertime, I'd love to get some really great use on it. So 60 uses is what I'd like to do. That is a very steep goal, but when it comes to a base product, I think that that is really realistic for me. I will use other base products as well. I'll use other foundations um, intermittent with this. I'm not going to just use this exclusively for two months and then roll it out. I think what I'll do is I'll reach for it two, three, four times a week, depending on what my makeup usage is looking like. and kind of reevaluate how I feel about it throughout the coming months when I use it on a more consistent basis. And I have a feeling this next product is just gonna pair so perfectly with the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. This is gonna be amazing under the eyes in combination with it in terms of the coverage, the color, and everything. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand. It's a very peachy color. This is a beautiful color for color correcting on my complexion. It really helps to brighten underneath my eyes, but it never looks like too bright. It, it, it is truly like a nice natural looking color, but that peachy undertone just really makes my under eyes look very good. I'd say I've used up about half of the product in here and that's without ever having had this in a project pan. It's never been a focus product. You can see though, I have made really great visual progress on it already and I don't see it being any sort of issue whatsoever to get this used up. I just wanna dedicate my energy towards it and make sure that happens in the earlier parts of this new year so that I can focus on the remainder of my uh, concealer collection when I do have a little bit more of a summer tan. So this color is great for me. This formula is amazing for me as well. I just find it looks so beautiful under the eyes without looking heavy or cakey. And it's definitely not drying at all, but also not overly dewy. It's a really good balanced kind of formula and I'm really looking forward to reaching for it and I want to finish this up this year. This next product is one that I just would like to set a usage goal for. This is the Vesca Moonlit Dream Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Lyra. This is a 
gorgeous, gorgeous liquid eyeshadow. And I have said several times on my channel that I'm not really interested in working on liquid eyeshadows, that I'm not really interested in bringing them into my collection, but this is an item that I did receive in PR from Vesca as like a little bit of a surprise. I did not know that they were gonna send this in the package they sent, and I have fallen in love with it. This is like such a beautiful liquid eyeshadow. I just put a dollop of it on my hand here, and as you can see, it just blends out to just such a beautiful finish. It has this high shine, multi-dimensional shimmer. It's not chunky though. It truly is just so beautiful and it offers this like glossy, light peach kind of tone. I'm wearing it today on top of an orange eyeshadow. I wear it on top of greens. I wear it on top of pinks, bronzes. I can truly pair this with almost any eyeshadow color and it looks phenomenal. So it's something that I can reach for in endless kind of combinations and I find myself wanting to reach for and wanting to use because it is so beautiful and it's so versatile. So I don't wanna finish this off this year. I've only had it in my collection for like 10 months now and I've reached for it so much in that time, but I'd like to really make a concentrated effort on reaching for it. And I set myself a goal to reach for it 20 times in this project pan. I don't see that being any sort of major challenge. Actually, it may only take me two, maybe three months to do that, but I'm really looking forward to reaching for this. I have been so in love with this formula. I've mentioned it many times on my channel, like my love for it. And I don't think that you can even comprehend how much I love this. So you'll be seeing it on my eyeballs a lot in the coming months and I am very much excited to reach for this. Another usage goal product is this right here. This is a powder blush from Nabla. This is in the shade Coralia and this is the Blossom Blush formula, I believe. This is actually a product that my friend Alexi sent to me several years ago and it's very dismal that I don't have a lot of notable progress on it. As you can see here, it still has its embossing pretty much intact. Not a ton of wear and tear on it, even though I have used it several times. I've just always been focusing on one specific powder blush or another, mostly Luminoso from Milani. And I've just never been able to give this the energy and the love that it truly does deserve. So I'd like to set myself a usage goal with this one as well. I have decided that I'm going to reach for it 40 times in this project, or if by chance I hit pan on it in that 40 uses or like within that, then I'll roll it out then. But I don't see that being something that is even possible for me. I really do think that I'll reach for this 40 times and I'll see a little bit of wear on it, but I don't think I'll be able to hit pan on it by any means in that time. However, I just don't know this formula well enough to say that that is for certain. So I kind of just wanted to add in that caveat there that 40 uses or pan, depending on which one comes first. This next product I did speak about in the products I want to pan in 2022 video that I did a couple weeks back. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick in the shade Notorious. This is probably my favorite lip product in my collection. It is what I'm wearing today, although it's quite faded at this point of the day. But I think this is probably my favorite lip product because it has this beautiful, sheer, balmy kind of texture that is just so comfortable and so easy to wear. And this color is just a beautiful, natural kind of tone. It's like slightly peachy, slightly rosy, um, and it's truly flattering on me throughout the entirety of the year, whether I'm tan or at my most fair. It really is a stunning, again, versatile kind of product that I can wear with every and any look. I'd like to finish it off. I don't foresee that being any sort of major issue. It seems entirely possible because as you can see here, I only have a very little amount of it left. My intentions are I will work on using this as much as I can until it's completely flush with the packaging. And then I will likely just decant it into like a lip balm container and use it as a tinted lip balm day and night until it's entirely used up. I am going to love every single moment of it. I have loved every single moment of reaching for this over the past few years of having it in my collection, but it is due time that I work it out of my collection and get it used up and really, really love on it. I imagine it being a couple year, couple years, <laughs> definitely not a couple years. I imagine it being a couple months worth of dedicated effort but I will enjoy reaching for it over those few months for sure. This is the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. 
This is a line that was limited edition from Byte and then they like basically pulled their entire line and started over. And so it was already a limited edition product before Byte kind of did their rebrand, their reset. And so it was something that I really wanted when it first launched and I didn't get my hands on it, unfortunately. I had swatched it a few times. I was super keen to get it. And then I just was like, no, I can't spend that kind of money on a freaking lip gloss. But then I saw it at Winners and I had no self-control. Like I just bought it. It was like an impulse purchase for sure at that time. I didn't even think about it. I just was like, yep, that's coming with me. And that's because it's such a unique shade. It's a very, very pale, cool pink color. It's got like almost a grayish kind of undertone to it. Initially, I did think I was gonna set a usage goal on this product, but I am going to do it. I'm gonna do it big, I'm gonna complete it. I have been able to use up a lot of lip glosses from my life and from my collection as of late, so I don't see it being a major challenge. I just have to pull myself out of that mentality of just like, just, wanting to have this for the sake of wanting to have it, but not necessarily wanting to use it. So I'm going to try to finish it off in the coming few months. I would love to have this used up by the summertime, but I'm not entirely sure how I will fare with this one, seeing as I just haven't used it that much as of late or ever. I've not used it. I've not used it as much as it really should be used. And the 10th and final product I'm kicking off this project pan with is one that I'm really looking forward to using. I feel that way about all of these products, but I am really excited for this one. This is the Becca Sunlip Bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. This is a product that isn't necessarily a repurchase for me, but I had a mini, and if you have kept up with my panning saga over the last few years, I had a mini of this shade Bronze Bondi in several project pans. I fell in love with the formula. I thought it was so good, but that shade was a little too deep for me in like most of the year. So I ended up purchasing the shade Capri Coast before I finished that one off. And ever since I brought this into my collection, I have probably used it only a handful of times because I've been a little bit fearful of how, how much energy and effort I really am gonna have to put into this given my experience that I had with the mini. However, this shade is beautiful, this formula is stunning, and I wanna see my bronzer collection look a lot more loved. And this is one that I, I know I like the formula on a lot, and I know I can have a lot of fun and enjoyment out of reaching for this. So I wanna to try to hit pan on it. And it's gonna take me a while, I believe, because this is something I've used only a few times there's a little bit of wear on it, but I've not used it as much as I should have by this point of having it in my collection. So it's gonna take me a lot of effort and a lot of energy, but I'm really excited to reach for it because it is a beautiful color and it's a beautiful, beautiful formula. And unfortunately, Becca is no longer available. There's a handful of their products that are available, but this is not one of those. So I want to enjoy this while I have it. I don't wanna let it expire on me. I wanna really, really, make sure it looks loved. So I am going to try to hit pan on this. I think that's gonna be a long haul kind of goal for me. There's several long haul kind of goals for me in this project, but that's okay. So those are all 10 products I'll be focusing on for this brand new project for 2022. I will be updating this project on a monthly basis. I am really excited to monitor my progress on all of these products and to keep reaching for all of them. I just feel really excited to be starting Fresh. I will be wrapping up my roulette pan collab at the end of this month and then this will be my one and only rolling style project pan and then I'll also have my pan those eyeshadows kicking off very shortly as well. I am really excited for what 2022 panning has to bring. These will definitely be a little bit more long haul kind of things. These will take me a little bit of time, but please let me know if you have any experiences panning any of these products, what that was like, how long it took you. If you have any other insights, I would love, love, love to know. And yes, good luck with all of your panning journeys. If you're working on any sort of focus project pans or products, please let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to chat with you down there, but that is everything today. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.